Hey guys, so just want to show you some carnivorous plants here. Here are some of my Venus fly traps. And this one here is flowering. Here is my most impressive Venus fly trap that is a few years old. Here's the B-52, hasn't grown much. Here's some small baby, or small, very young Venus flytraps that grew off from the main plant here. Although there are a few different plants in here, of course, um, I couldn't separate them when I transplanted this plant, but these little ones were separable. Here are some Sarsenia purpurea SSP venosa. Uh, they got owned by a possum that I've been trying to catch. Uh, basically, these plants are collecting tons of insects, thus the possum is ripping them up and eating the bugs. Made me pretty mad. But you know, possums are cool, so you gotta gotta be nice with them. But anyway, you can see that I've moved them up here, and they're definitely coming back. Like they're making new traps, so they're coming back, and that's a good sign. There's lots of new traps coming. Here are my droseras. Um, I didn't bring my rotund. No, here's the the bogs down there, and the Sarsinia dixie lace and white trumpets, which were the ones I didn't know what they were called before, are down there as well, and they're doing good. The dixie lace is in this corner, and all my rotunda folias, and I'll, um, yeah, my rotunda folias are all down there, and their seed pods are opening up all over the bog, so it's pretty sick. There's going to be lots of new rotunda folias next year. I might be able to sell some. And there's a possum trap that I put out. I've been trying to catch him the past two nights, and every night he gets in there, eats the food, and squeezes out the trap. So hopefully I'll catch him tonight, and I'll be able to make a quick video and show you guys a possum tomorrow. Uh, I'm thinking of reload or releasing him out in the wild. Oh, I'll just let him be because he doesn't bother my plants anymore. But I want to catch him anyway, just for the heck of it. Be kind of neat to film him and show you guys some some uh pretty neat footage of the only marsupial native to North America, so yeah. And, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, alright, sorry. So here we have a small sundew. A few real small sundews that I had there. Here I'm trying to grow some, uh, some cape sundews. Some Dracera capensis, Alba, real nice version. Instead of the red dew, it's all white. There's no red. It's not like it's albino or anything, because there's no such thing as albinism in plants, obviously. But it's kind of neat. It's a neat phenotypic form. So here I have some leaf cuttings. I actually just took leaves that fell off when I was transplanting these. Because I took them out of the ball garden now. It isn't really cold, but nights are getting a bit cooler. And Cape Sundews are from Africa, so they will need to be brought indoors. They grow all year. They can go dormant, but or dormant, sorry, but it's best not to overwinter them in Canada. So I took them out here, and I'll be bringing them inside on the sunny windowsill in there once it's winter. So I have these guys, and they're notorious for easy... Uh, root cuttings that'll start new plants, so there are some roots that came off that I planted in here. So basically in here is just generally a few different pieces of these plants that fell off roots and leaves, and I'm going to see if they'll grow into new plants. And they also do a lot of offshoots that'll grow from the main bulb, so you'll have the bulb here, and then a main shoot will grow off and start a new plant up here, and eventually that connection will break, and you'll have to separate, and you'll have a new plant. Just what this little plant here is. As you can see, these guys are sitting in water. It's a mix of sand, peat, and by spagging them on top. So here's a Drosera capensis alba, or Cape Sundew, an alba Cape Sundew. I actually have a normal Cape Sundew that's over here. So this is the normal Cape Sundew. It's growing by the pitcher plant. And there's a dormant rhizome over there. That little green thing is a dormant uh, rotundifolia that's already gone dormant. So yeah, there's the normal capensis. You can see, it's kind of hard to see, but it is in fact red, the little tips. And yeah, 
Mm, there's lots of lost sphagnum with this guy. This is you know, slide chops doing really bad. I'm gonna probably just do some rhizome division and see if I can get it going again. I'll test it and just use it for rhizome division instead. But it does have new shoots coming up again. I think it just got sunburnt. But I might have been going in the greenhouse over at Hawaiian Botanicals. But yeah, so everything's doing really good. And um, next up, I'm gonna be doing a video on how to pollinate Venus flytraps. I have one pollinated flower there in the middle. Let's see if I can zoom in better here. That's this one here is pollinated, and it, the flower closes up again, and it swells and makes seeds. So I'm going to show you guys how to pollinate these next video. So yeah, thanks for watching.